Okay, today I'm going to be doing a short look at the Exceed RC 110th Scale Rally Monster Short Course Truck. Just got this in the mail today. And the first thing I notice about it is it's funny, the box they use seems to be a generic box. So, let's take a look inside. I'm going to be opening up the box and I'll uh, give you a short description of what I think about the kit itself. Okay, so here we go. Body looks to be very nicely painted. Size itself looks appropriate. This is the 110 scale, but to be honest with you, it looks a little bit bigger than that. It's probably good. I'm, I'm happy about that. Here's the radio. Take it out. This is a basic 2.4 gigahertz unit. Uh, what's great about it is it only uses four double A's. So you no longer have to use eight like we all do. Save some batteries. Save some money. Okay, let's take out the truck itself. Seems fairly light, probably about seven pounds. Not too heavy for one of these. I know one eight scale buggies run around eight pounds. This might even be lighter than seven. Body itself feels relatively substantial. Not very thin like some, some uh, manufacturers make. Here's the bottom. So let's set it here. Take a closer look. Take off the body pins. Put some light on for you. Here we go. So this is it. Brand new, never ran. Right from the box. Looks to be fairly good. Everything nice anodized. Cooling head. This is a pointing point eighteen CXP engine. It is a pull start, which is good for beginners. Tires, relatively nice, soft compounds. Looks good. Suspension, relatively smooth. Although, as I'm doing this now, I notice that the front is harder than the rear. That's okay, I guess, for short course trucks. Here we go. We could see it do what it's supposed to do. You could see the back rebounds a little slower. Which is probably nice. It looks probably it looks probably very good coming out of the corners. Here's the overall clearance. Doesn't look bad at all. Very nice looking red rims, basic wheel nuts. Let's see what the bottom looks like. Okay, here we go. This is a two and a half millimeter anodized aluminum chassis. Countersunk holes. Although I do notice they use regular Phillips head screws. Generally, you would want hex, hex hardware in these cars, but as this is a low-end model kit, that's not bad. The two-speed transmission right here, obviously plastic gears. We'll see how long they last. Okay, here we go. Everything seems to be in a pretty good condition. By the way, this one does come with a high-torque servo, although there is no sticker on it. But you could probably tell there's a somewhat of an aluminum liner around the servo. Um, that's it for now. This this is just the basic unboxing of this car, and I probably will make another video.